Okay, last night I talked with a man named James Osborne in the library parking lot. He drove all the way from Nebraska to meet a founder of 5-Hour Energy because he wanted to uh, communicate a plan about uh, um, is a water plan about about centralizing a water industry around Nebraska. Now, I how did I get into contact with James? Uh, he he uh, he yelled at me uh, and said, "Hey, you got Washington plates or something like that." And so we started talking, and that was it. Um, we we talked about a lot of things. Our cars are similar. So uh and he sleeps in it he sleeps in his car and he says he's he has a lot of experience with that. So uh it was it was interesting to to learn. He he has a 2005 Ford something similar to a Focus. The interior is very similar to mine. He's got over 250,000 miles for 2005 Ford Focus or Ford whatever. It's it's a longer hatchback than mine. It's it's pretty much like a Ford Focus. And it's, his car is in good shape, so it gives me some hope for my car. Um, he's he's uh, got some like water ideas, um, and he he uh, he gives himself credibility because I he told me to search his name on on YouTube because he had like two million hits for a controversial um, meeting with fracking the fracking industry executives in Nebraska apparently as a backstory the fracking industry wants to and this happened his uh, video came out in 2015 the fracking industry wants to set up Nebraska as a hub for dumping their wastewater their fracking wastewater in in Nebraska's got the the NIMBY attitude, not in my backyard, because they're afraid this fracking juice is going to get into the their system, their water system, and and the locals uh, will get sick from that. Now, the video that's that uh, what went viral, I guess you could say. I didn't see the two million view video, but the Young Turks which is a, a news organization that, that has uh, some reputation for being popular. I don't watch them, but I did watch the, the video yesterday of, uh, with James in it. There was a lot more commentary in this video than actual uh, like footage of, of uh, James doing his, uh, his uh, um, r r um, making his, making his claims, making his statements. But uh, it was interesting what he what he did. I can describe it a little bit. It can be watched. He he pretty much took dirty water and and uh, presented it to the three fracking representatives and said, "Would you?" And and then and they took the water, poured it in three cups that were that were clear. And he's like, "Would you drink this?" Because apparently these executives said they would drink the fracking water. So he, he was holding them to their word. And at that point, they said no comment. Well, I didn't watch the video until after the conversation with James. One of my first questions of him was, where'd you get the water? And he, he apparently got it from rainwater. I I record I tried to record uh, our conversation as, as early as I could, but the button wasn't working at the time. Uh, I I wanted I was really hoping that it would have come through. I, I thought I was recording, but uh, to hear him say that he got there's there's rainwater that he got that presented that he presented to these executives that was that was interesting. It was dirty looking water. I mean, what really made it priceless that moment priceless was the executives saying no comment. Like you know they could talk about how great fracking is but when they were were confronted with this uh this this uh counter argument of which now why don't you prove to us that you drink it then they 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 uh they buckled under that kind of pressure but you know 
What if they asked, where'd you get the water? Did you get it from your tap water? I mean, they haven't even moved into Nebraska yet. And and uh, James has brought up this argument with this dirty water that he's presenting. Would you drink it? That's caught. That's but th see, he's bringing a visual to the f the possible future of of fracking water. Now, fracking water is supposed to be composed of all kinds of harmful things. I know it's silica and there's water, but you also I think need some kind of solvent too to 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 break to help break the rock up what solvents do you need to break rock up it it might need to be stronger than the solvents used to extract chemicals out of foods um but he's made this argument it, it got pretty famous and and uh well his life hasn't exactly improved he's sleeping in his car he's, he's he says he's going to aa meetings or used to go to AA meetings. He's he's a pretty much a chain smoker. When I, when we were talking, he's one cigarette after another. Uh, and he's an older guy. You could see him on the video. He 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 actually wore the same clothes in yesterday that he did in that video a couple of years back. Overalls with an orange shirt. Uh, it, it, we just we talked about all kinds of interesting things. He's uh, he's a very friendly guy. I, I was curious because I thought I could pick somebody up who was crazy on video, who who actually he he had a like a, a strong belief in something. He believed in himself. I thought he was would be a little crazy, but he, he seems okay. Uh, it, there are some aspects that seem a little crazy. Driving as much as he did, he drove over a thousand miles from Nebraska to here in the, in the matter of a couple of days just to meet the 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 founder of of uh five hour energy and james has done this before too because he's he talked about driving over to other big big shot uh corporate owners rich guys places and and having conversations with them about his ideas okay so he's he's got a, he's got a history of of uh going out of his way to travel traveling long distances to to meet these these uh these big name people, also big events, because he also said, James said that he went to the the protest in in New York, uh, when there was that that protest a few years ago, Occupy Wall Street. So I'll leave it at that.